Hi everyone, my name is Jasmine and I'm playing the violin. Hi, I'm John, I play cello. Hi, I'm Jocelyn, I play the piano. And um, this semester we are rehearsing and recording the Brahms Piano Trio Number no. 3 in C minor, Opus 101. And um, it, it's such a great experience for us to gather at this rehearsing studio. And because, especially during this um, pandemic period, and, and I think it's very hard to um, pl to put the live chamber together. We are very fortunate that we are able to rehearse together even last semester as well. Um, we played the Piazzolla Four Seasons, two movements of it, the winter and spring movement. And this semester we are working on the Brahms Trill. Last semester we uh, actually got to work with uh, uh, Tina Dahl and uh, Philip Setzer as our coaches and uh, they were so helpful in uh, learning Piazzolla. And this semester we received coaching from uh, a viola professor, Matthew Lippmann, uh, Colin Carr, the child professor, and uh, David Finkel, and all of them are so helpful in helping our uh, playing in the ensemble and our musicianship. I personally find this piece is very um, intriguing and is also um, pretty char challenging to play. Do you guys have any favorite spots? Yeah. Um... I, I agree with the challenging to play, uh, especially the first movement, the beginning and the ending is really hard for me. I, I have been working on it, um, the, the lots of jumps on the piano. Um, my favorite spot would probably be the ending of the first movement. I also like the second movement a lot, but it's just really hard to play this contrasting <laughs> um, movements. My favorite part is probably also the ending of the, the first minute. It's just such a great Brahmsian moment where, you know, everyone's uh, kind of like in unison and uh, so intense, uh, exciting. Yeah. This uh, Brahms piano show number three is rather short compared to his um, other show, like Brahms show number one, um, because number three in total duration is only around 22 minutes while the Brahms trim number one is like 37 minutes um, and it's very compact and concise I feel. So. Yeah, I guess because he, I think he usually he likes to write a piece is very um, intense by the like length wise and then like the violin concerto like the first movement is just about like 25 minutes and this piece is such a compact, but also like very intense in, mu in the musical way. Yeah. Especially like the beginning, um, it just catches everyone's eyes. I think, um, like my f um, my favorite spot is uh, the secondary theme in the first movement. Is because I like my personal taste is I, I like the lyrical section, and then it also reminds me of um, his. Symphony number no. one, the last movement, the famous lyri lyrical spot. Yeah, it was uh, written in 1886 uh, along with uh, the vi violin sonata uh, number no. three and uh, Brahms' F major sonata. So we kind of uh, view this work as kind of like a combination of uh, both those. Yeah, and uh, he's very uh, such a productive composer, right? And he kind of like every summer he. Um, he leaves Vienna and go to like some oh. mountains, like <laughs> like small yeah. towns, yeah. yeah. And he's and he's, in the short like three months uh, that he stayed in Switzerland near Lake Thun, um, he composed the works that John just mentioned, um, the violin sonata number two, and uh, part of the violin sonata, maybe most of the violin sonata number three, as well as the um, cello sonata. Um, number two and he's kind of make making a combination in this um, third piano trio yeah. Right. yeah yeah it really makes sense kind of a in relationship to all those uh, pieces yeah. 